Before we get started, I just want to say that my last two videos have been doing pretty well. Both of them have nearly doubled my subscriber count each, and I just want to make it clear that I'm not going to let this go to my head or develop some grandiose self-image. Anyway, in this video I play God. So at this point in the video, I had like a 7 minute explanation about the intricacies of evolution. However, I feel like most of my viewers either already understand how evolution works, or they wouldn't care for that long of an explanation for it. So instead, I just cut that part, but it was also all edited, so here are just 15 seconds of funny clips from it. And no, you're never getting the context. So in order to become stronger, you can do things such as going to the gym and working out. But also, let's be honest. Then later on, Lion A would pass on its genes while Lion B won't, because it's dead and dead people can't pass on their genes. However, I've never gone to the zoo and seen a lion doing mad lifts. So for this video, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bunch of organisms, which I'm going to refer to as amoebas. And amoebas, by the way, are those weird, wobbly, single-celled organisms. And I'm going to put them in an environment where they need to collect food, and when they collect enough food, they're able to duplicate. And there are many categories in which they can evolve, those being speed, how much food they spend moving, how much food they gain while eating, how many children they have, and how quickly they can turn. And finally, just because I thought it would make it look visually interesting, the amoebas are able to talk to each other and relay locations of food, and when they hear about a location of food, they turn and try to go there. But enough talking, let's just build it. So, let's get started. First, we need to make the amoebas, and then the food, and then seal a color scheme from something far more popular than anything I will ever be able to create in order to make people feel like they have a connection to my project because if they have a connection to my project, they're far more likely to like, share, and subscribe. Then we just need to give the amoebas a brain, allow them to talk to each other because I thought it would make it look more visually interesting. Then we make it so they can replicate when they have enough food. And finally, mutations. So now, whenever a split happens, there's a 50% chance of an organism gaining a point, but, and here's the key thing, there's also a 50% chance of an organism losing a point. So, if evolution didn't make sense, we would see that the average number of points would stay the same, while if evolution were real, we would see them go up. What will happen? Keep watching to find out. Does it make sense for me to keep this in suspense even though everyone knows what will happen? No. Will I continue to do it? Yes. So, you can see at the beginning that the amoebas are just aimlessly bouncing around. They can only eat food when they happen to run into it. You'll also notice that although we start out with a very colorful board at the start, the number of colors begins to decrease over time. This is because the color is linked to the organism, and when the organism is cloned, that color transfers over. Because of survival of the fittest, only certain organisms will be able to survive, and those that die won't be able to pass down their color. And you can see by the end that they're able to turn into the food and actually go to it when they're told to by other amoebas. So we can watch them, but how will we have a quantifiable way of seeing whether evolution is occurring? Well, we examine the graphs! So we can see that the average number of points went up, meaning that evolution did occur. But where were these points allocated? So we can see that the average speed went up, meaning that speed was an important factor to each organism's survival. We can also see that although the average turn angle did vary greatly, it didn't really go up or down. This just means that it changed over time, however, the changes had no effect on each organism's survival, and therefore, turn angle did not actually evolve. We can also see that the average number of children per mitosis was just a straight line up. This is because when you have more children, you have more chances for your genes to get passed on. This helps to minimize the effects of the randomness of whether or not an organism is actually able to find food. This demo is also on my website, and there you can play with the starting parameters. Maybe if food was scarcer, turn speed would be more important for survival. The link will be in the description below for you to experiment with that. I know this video was a little bit discombobulated, so thank you so much for reaching this point. As always, link to the repo with the code is in the description below. And fun fact, I actually have another video coming out. I don't want to make any promises, but 
in a reasonable amount of time. So stay tuned. Until then, see ya.